okay, the uh, videos from yesterday, the pictures, you saw that this number one gear was actually not on. This is number one disc. Now we did get it out of the uh, gearbox, so now we replaced it to how it would look inside the motor. Now we're gonna show you how to inspect this. Your main concern is the fifth gear clutch plates, because they're not bands, they are actual plates. So first, we will remove number one, set this aside. Next in line, we have a combination support and number two, and you also have the driven shaft, which that will take off now. There's some bushings in here. You got a top bushing, and there's bushings below this. Now, we're gonna take number two off. Number two comes off. And the gear tray for number two is right here. Usually it comes with it, but this time it didn't, but that comes off and goes underneath that right there. Now you're down to number three. We got some thrust washers here, a little bushing. This can stay because I know that slips up. So let's keep that there. Number three gear. It's coming off with everything. Oh, should go. just set that in tight. All right, here we have the number four disc. But when we lift this, we're gonna get the number uh, the fifth gear clutch plates. So there goes number four. Now right here, you can go no further. If you had a band or basically a clutch plate that was broke and split in two, like I'm, uh, on the satellite I did, this piece would fall out. This has four clutch plates. The only way to take this off is obviously you go to the other side, you remove the oil pan or oil pump. There's a special nuts nut on the other side that's keyed and it's also a reverse thread. Then you can spread the whole thing and get to the gears. In the next video, so our inspection is really complete, but in the next video, we're gonna show you how to reassemble it on the tower. If any of these clutch plates slipped out, they'd be in two pieces and they're unfixable. Remy Depot does have those for sale though, by the way. Okay, we've uh, inspected our fifth gear clutch plates. This is fourth gear drum, which also matches in association with all these clutch plates. So you gotta slide that on here. And now, you gotta realign, and the last one is always a pain. All right, so you're all the way down. On this edge right down here, nothing is protruding. It's all the way down. Now, number three gear. This goes on like this. Chased in. The coupling for the next gear. One bushing. If you notice, there's no splits between. The, if you got any gaps between any of the disc, it's not on right. Next bushing. Number two planetary. Three. Oh yeah, actually, no, that's number two. Yeah, number two planetary because it drives number two disc. Oh, gotcha. Number two disc. That's all the way down, no gaps. Tower shaft. You gotta spline this in, and it's gotta go all the way down. And finally again, number one, drive disc. Again, it's just a jiggly portion here. all the way down. Mm -hmm. No, you're good. No, see, you gotta put that on first. <laughs> you gotta mash, mash it to the other one. There you go. See, this has got five sun gears that all have to match. We just had it on. I back it off. Grab hold of number two down there. Start 
That's down. That's down. That's down. Should be a bushing. Yep. That's the support bushing. Yep. That gear. There's a key. And then there's a key all over. It shouldn't be. This should just. Stay hold on. Oh, it's just a notch. The problem is we got to fit into two sets of gears here. Yep. You got to fit this, and you got to fit this with these. There it is. Voila! Now, when you reassemble this in the box, obviously you got to take this off. That's where the most difficult part is. This first gear has to be replaced into the gearbox. Basically, it's a press fitting for this main bearing. And then when you jimmy all this together, it's a lot of jerking, jinking, cussing, being pissed off and giving a swift kick. But once it all goes together, you come back with a feeder gauge. There's a, it gives you a value for if there's too much of an excessive gap here or too little, you can shave these. But this gearbox is in great shape. The only thing that was wrong with it was the bands. And we're gonna show that.